one week deloads are absolutely fucking over your gains. What the hell are you? I often stalk people and walk into their bedrooms at night, and when I look over them, I deload them. We've all heard of the term deload week, correct? I have, and I fell into the trap when, you know, one week I felt really fucking tired, and then I decided to take a week deload. Now, I watched the Jeff, I remember this night clearly. I watched the Jeff Nippard episode on how to take a deload week. You know, active deload versus non active deload, blah, 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 science bullshit. And I decided to take an active deload. So every day I would go into the gym and I would lift like super light, yeah. basically half the volume, you know, half the weight, probably not half the reps, but I half the sets. So let's say like I would be skull crushing 35 kilos, then I would be doing the 17s for 10 because I did 35 for 10. Or I would be benching, let's say 90 kilos, I would be doing, well, I didn't do 45. So this deal, let's say I did 60 for five. That led in a traumatic loss of not, not just gains, but just systematic fatigue was, it was gone for the first four days. Like I wanted to be back in the gym and train. But then like up to day seven, I felt lazy, I felt fat, I felt unmotivated, I felt like my testosterone was down. Because these science-based lifters, they give these fucking advices that are so mathematically in place that there is no room for change. So I've done deloads about three to four times in my whole lifting career, like they say every eight to 12 weeks, but... In the first year and a half of my lifting, I didn't take one deload week, which I'm not really sad about because I enjoy working out and I enjoy lifting. So there's no problem with that. But anyway, so just recently, like, you know, I've learned to train for the past like five, six months. I've learned to train super hard and that instills a lot of fatigue onto your body, especially when you get past the advanced stages. You know, beginners to intermediates do not need to take any deload weeks. When you take a deload, and you don't come back stronger, that means you obviously fucked up one way or another. And the way you fuck up first off is taking a whole fucking week to deload. What the fuck are you doing for a whole ass week not working out or working out super duper light? They obviously say, oh, you know, it takes two weeks to lose any kind of significant muscle mass or blah, blah, blah. I would like to debate that and say you're going to lose your motivation to work out and lift heavy and you're just system like, oh, you got to ease back into it. I call bullshit. Now, if you're looking for a deload, you know, you're feeling a bit tired and wrecked. I'm currently working on this video as I'm on a deload, but this is a deload that is sure to make me stronger and to make me have more progressive and smart lifting sessions. Well, I, I couldn't come up with a proper word. Anyway, so this method of deloading is basically like Jeff Nippard's, but a lot more advanced and not scientific. This is ego lifting based deload. Now, this is actually going to work for you because this is coming from someone who works out like Jeff Nippert does, but I don't read fucking science papers like a geek. So for a real G, this is how to take a fucking deload. So once you're realizing after eight to 12 weeks that you've trained super duper fucking hard and you're, you know, above the intermediate level to advanced, you decide, you know, okay, fuck, I'm not progressing and I'm getting weaker. Shit. Let's take a deload week or deload, you know, cycle. We do not want to take seven days off. I repeat, we do not want to take seven days off. Does it so first off, you could tell yourself or comment down below just so you remember what split do you run? And to comment that down below right now. What split do you run? I personally run the chest, side delts, back, rear delts, arms, and then legs rest and then repeat. Sometimes I don't rest and I just go. But if I'm feeling wrecked, I'll rest. Anyway, so that's what I do. And that's what I call a cycle of training. Not like a whole meso cycle, but just a mini cycle of training. So I do chest, back, legs, arms. Oh, sorry. Chest, back, arms, legs. And then I do it, I just repeat that all over again and I rest. Anyway, so here's the catch. For this deload cycle or mini deload or, you know, proper deload, we're going to take our split and we're going to train the exact same way, hold on, but we're going to 
lower the weight dramatically, let's say by 40%, 30 to 50%, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And then we're going to match the exact same reps as we're doing for our proper set. So let's say I, I'm going for 80 kilos on the bench press for five reps. I'm going to subtract that by, I reckon it's like 20% to be 60. I don't fucking know. I don't care. I do 60 kilos for five sets of five reps. And that's what I'll typically do with a bench press. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do five sets of 80 for five, but that's what I did today for my chest day. I'm just giving you an example. You can act, you can just do your proper actual chest workout. The way my chest workout goes is I do bench press, like a proper dead bench press, and then I do an incline barbell press. So no Smith machine, none of that gay science shit. I just lift as heavy as I can and I half or, you know, subtract some weight from the volume. So I'm not training to failure and I just feel like the set is super duper easy. Like if you have, let's say, a 100 kilo squat and you hit it for five reps, we're going to do for your leg day 80 kilo squats or if you're really tired, 70 or even 60 kilo squats. I would even recommend 60 if you're wrecked. And do it for five reps and do it for as many sets as you usually do. Same with the leg extension, half the weight, and do as many sets as you usually would do. The goal here is just to keep our nervous system active and actually lifting weights. Because if you take a whole seven days off, it's quite frankly stupid. I'm just going to tell you, Days, minutes, months, years, have birthdays, they're all bullshit and fake. They're just government matrix invented items. Seven days is bullshit. It's just the seven cycles of the sun. And that's not how many days your body takes to recover. Your body is very efficient and recovers super duper fast if you are obviously doing a recoverable volume amount per session. So I just do not see how you would take seven days off. Let's say you're a caveman. You've done a crazy, crazy hunt. So you hunt that big ass fucking zebra or some shit. And then you take it back to your cave. It's enough food for seven, sorry, four to seven days. And you don't have to hunt for four to seven days because you're super duper wrecked. You just hunted a zebra. You got through some of the lions or whatever the fuck. And you just got through the mud puddle, so you're really fucking wrecked. You just want to chill in your man cave for, for seven days. First off, you're going to run out of fucking food, you moron. And you're just going to not be able to hunt like you used to. But if you go, let's, you, ha you eat for that zebra for four days, obviously cook the zebra. And you know, there's a little bit of zebra left, but then you go back to hunting more zebras. You're still in that mood to hunt. You're no longer lazy. You're not, you know, you don't have, you don't know, you haven't lost the motivation to hunt zebras. Same thing with deload workouts. If you take a whole seven days off, halving the volume, halving the reps, halving the sets, you're going to come out a lazy sack of shit because most people do not track their macros. They're just going to eat whatever the fuck comes in sight. And us gym bros, we love to eat. So we're going to get fucking, we're not going to get fab. We're going to be very bloated. We're going to eat junk. Maybe not me, but you. Okay. We will just get off balance and it's just going to be hard to get back on. That's happened to me before. Not that I've ate junk or anything, but I've just gotten off balance and gotten off motion and the fucking, it just the momentum was gone is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so just a quick summary of how to take this deload. You want to do the same exact sets, pretty much. Maybe take three sets off the workout. And you want to half or half the weight to 30 to 50%. You want to half it. So as I mentioned in the prior example of a 10, 100 kilo squat, you do a 70 kilo squat for the same amount of reps and the same amount of sets. Just, to, so, just so you keep your nervous system excited and happy. We're going to do that. And... We're going to repeat that for a whole training cycle. So chest, back, arms, legs. We're going to do that for that entirety of the training cycle. So a deload week for me would be about around about four days. So a four day deload is all I need because that's my split. If you do a three day split, so like push, pull, legs, you can do that. Push, pull, legs, half the weights. 
and then you want to take that one rest day off that's still the four days off and then you want to get back into normal training obviously if that doesn't work for you you know do whatever the fuck works for you take a five day deload six day even seven day if that's what genuinely works for you but for the majority of people that i work with or the majority of people i know just do not handle seven day deloads and same thing with me anecdote here no one really gets back from a seven day deload ready to fucking smash the gym they're most likely lazy and they've gotten comfortable and useless but after four to five days you just have that drive in you you want to fucking work out and you want to fucking lift some heavy ass weights and you watch ronnie coleman videos you get hyped up but after seven days you know you've been in your stanky ass room watching stanky ass hub and you just you're not in a good mood so anyways guys i hope you took away something well from this video please subscribe if you enjoyed drop a like drop a comment if this helped you out or if you have any advice or any stories relatable that someone else can relate to and benefit from definitely drop it down the fuck below i hope you enjoyed subscribe to me the anti-order click on one of these videos and have a good motherfucking day stay positive